my sewing friends. This is Vlogmas day five. One of my favorite little decorations in my house is this little garland. And I got it years and years ago as a thank you gift from someone who participated in a craft fair that I organized and ran. <laughs> yeah, well, organized mainly, you know, everything, once I got it rolling, it ran itself, as is the case with most things that I do. But I love this thing because it's just got these little angels and they're so simple. Just a little bit of lace, some fabric, little bits of ribbon. They do have halos. They're made from gold. I don't know, probably like wire trim or something. I don't know. And their hair is just moss that's been, I think it's been glued on. But this thing, this thing, I got it in hmm, probably 1990. Four, because I remember that I was pregnant with one of my girls. So it's just so cute. And I have loved this and put it on doors, over my kitchen sink, on the window, all kinds of places. It is so versatile and it's kind of like bunting. You know, if you've made uh, the trees, the tree garland that um, Alex from Alex Judge Sews, I'll link the uh, tutorial she did up here. But if you've done something like that or you want something like this, let me show you. I would like to make another one of those little garlands. And so I was going through my pattern stash recently and I ran across this one, McCall's 6819. If you can find this on Etsy, on eBay, this is that garland. And one of the things that is notable about it is that they've used Battenberg lace for the um, the dress of the angel. And I found a lot of Battenberg lace re um, in recent months in the thrift store. So, you know, I don't even have to go looking for it. It's right there in my stash. And so if you can lay your hands on some of that on a tablecloth, table runner, um, yeah, curtains, if you can get, or if you have some Battenberg lace, you'll be all set. This pattern also includes a wreath and little hearts with buttons like this that make great Christmas ornaments. So yeah, fun little thing. And I was really surprised to find that. Yeah, uh, I may make another one. Today's day five. Let's see. Looks like it's right up here. So let me dig in, get my little piece of chocolate for the day. <laughs> and this is a truffle, they're all truffles, but this is a square and it's got something on the outside. It kind of has a little bit of something that might look like raspberry or strawberry. I'm going to just try it out and see what's inside. It's ganache. Most of these are ganache inside. Mm. You know, I don't taste any raspberry or strawberry, but mm, man, this dark chocolate is so good. Mm, now I taste it. I think it's raspberry. So today, let me leave you with this from John 1 verse 14, always from the message translation. The word became flesh and blood and moved into the neighborhood. We saw the glory with our own eyes, the one-of-a-kind glory, like father, like son, generous inside and out, true from start to finish. I'll see you tomorrow. Till then, Merry Christmas.